welcome back to another video. Today in modded Minecraft, I'm going to share with you my journey on how I got a dragon. So there's an ice, lightning, and fire dragon, and in modded Minecraft with my two siblings, we um, each chose a type of dragon and we were just waiting for them to hatch. I've never seen this before, so it was very exciting. My sister's uh, Ellie, hers hatched first. It's a fire dragon and it looked a little limp. Um, it was looking a little sleepy. We weren't sure why it was like that at first. Um, then lightning struck and my brother's was, um, hatched and then mine just kind of was there looking a little unalive, if you know what I'm saying. But, um, I threw some poor chops at it. Then I didn't know how to feed it, but that didn't work. It turns out they were sleeping. We picked them up, um, and they woke up. So, that's how we found out they were actually fine. Um, we took them to a more safe, open area, um, and kind of put them down. And we realized that actually mine and my sister Ellie's were sleeping and my brother Max's is awake at night, um, for some reason. So that was pretty interesting. So his is kind of alert. And as the sun came up, ours actually woke up and then his went to sleep, even though it kind of sleeps standing. This is a weird dragon, not gonna lie. Um, and they're very cute. They were kind of walking really slow. You know, they're brand new born babies. Um, and so after cooing and calling at them for a bit, um, I tried to see statistics, but that mod wasn't working well, so I couldn't actually see all the statistics of my dragon, but my dragon is a girl, and um, there was a few other things my brother could see, and he actually told me about her, so I decided to name her. Um, she is an ice dragon, so I named her Frost. I'm not original, but I thought it was a cute name, um, so this is how baby frost came into my care and i really love baby frost um so we named them each of us gave our dragons our own names you'll learn about their names in a moment but we kind of just um sat around with them and my brother said we could force age them so he kind of gave it some growth thing i don't know and it grew like two more days or something like that he said and it got bigger it was really cool um so yeah, his grew up a little faster than ours um, in that moment. And then I realized I had to baby-proof my house because um, I had to put Frost down and realize it's not safe for Frost to walk around because of all the berry bushes. So I had to get rid of them and baby-proof the house for Frost. Um, Frost probably won't always live with me in the house because she's going to get very big, my brother said. Um, but for now, baby Frost needs to be safe. So I got rid of all of them, um, and baby proofed and then brought Frost to the inside front yard, um, so that she could sleep and relax. Um, and I really love baby Frost a lot. Literally immediately was in love with, <laughs> with my baby. Um, so yeah, Frost went to sleep in the front yard. She tried to follow me, which was really cute, but uh, I was still getting used to how to tell her to stay. Um, so she stayed there. Um, and then she's just so stinking cute. My brother was like, you should probably age her up because we wanted our dragons don't be the same age. So I, I did age her up a little. She got much bigger. So that's her before the age up. And then I aged her up um, by the same amount he did, so I think they're like two days ahead in their growth, um, or something like that, and not too much, but yeah, so there she is, a little bigger, super cute, and I wanted her to walk, I wanted to see if she'd walk a little faster, she definitely doesn't, <laughs> but she's just a little toddler, and the dragons look so cute when you pick them up, so these are my siblings with their dragons, super adorable. Um, I really like the names they came up with for their dragons. Um, I believe my sister's is Cinnamon, and that is Fire Dragon, and then the Lightning Dragon is Shadow. That's my brother's dragon. Um, and they were just so cute. We just kept, like, walking around with them, as you can see more video of Frost walking around because I just thought she was so stinking cute. Um, and then I took Frost to go see some of the village. We've done a ton of work on it from the last time um, you guys probably saw it. Completely re re renovated. Big thanks to my brother who did it, but we have actually relocated all the villagers while we, my brother fixed the village. I kind of 
brought them all over here after he he built all this he's always in minecraft building stuff um so there's a nice little area and i was showing frost we were also kind of deciding where the dragons would stay when they get so big um just so they weren't like getting in the way of anything or getting harmed by anything um or destroying things we built so this will probably be the only time frost sees the village so i thought i would take frost to meet all the little babies and like see all the villagers i think they were having like a funeral low-key when i when i showed up so they're all kind of over here at the cemetery but a lot of villagers are in there um we're thinking of keeping the dragons in this bio my brother made himself he brought everything over and made this it's so beautiful so cute and we were thinking of keeping the dragons in here this is just right beside where our houses are um so it's not far away we can all see the dragons from our homes and then they would have a place to kind of be in the open um and they can be away from you and still be your dragon. You can actually, kind of like a Pokeball, keep them in a, that little diamond you might see in my inventory and then throw them out. It's very weird. Very interesting. Um, or not the diamond, I think it's the horn. Anyway, you can keep them with you and then throw them out like a, like a literal Pokemon. It's kind of funny. Um, so yeah, this is gorgeous. My brother worked really hard in it and it looks so cool at night. Um, so my sister made a little shelter for hers just until they grow up. And we were laughing because we were like, I don't know if they can go up and down ladders. Turns out, turns out she went up to get it, <laughs> to get cinnamon. And it actually turns out they can use ladders. It's the funniest thing. We were laughing so hard. They just kind of float up and down the ladder. So they can use ladders. And it was safe for Cinnamon to be up there. So Cinnamon went back up there. And that's where she's keeping Cinnamon safe. We all decided to go back to my place. And all the dragons played and kind of walked around together. Um, and then I made some like i think i just made some rice the deal member for my home was my brother got free food from me so we had the dragon sit outside and then i went inside and we made some rice or i made some rice and then we just talked about our dragons for a second we really pretend we're living in this world when we play um and i really still love my kitchen and yes my house is not decorated yet um and we just kind of talked about our cute little dragons. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the update on modded Minecraft. We got dragons. They're very adorable. I love my dragon. Um, there were a lot of elements. And a lot I didn't record because I wasn't planning on recording. Um, we had to like fight some dragons to get the baby eggs. It was a whole thing. But it was a lot of fun. And I'm really happy that I got a chance to experience this. And I'm loving modded Minecraft. Whenever I do get a chance to play, all this stuff my brother has is always very interesting. I will leave the mods down below. Um, I think the dragon mod and everything is in it. If it's not, I'll fix it and I'll leave a note. But I will leave all the mods in a mod pack down below for you guys to check out the mods if you want to as well. I know a lot of people requested that last time. So yeah, that's what we've been up to in modded minecraft thanks so much for watching and as always remember to have sweet sweet dreams